Good evening, people. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Okay. Good evening, teacher. I'm driving to my car in this moment. And, well, I connect my camera later to participate in the class. Okay. Thank you. Okay, people, everything is ready now. Let me have the attendance. Okay, respond when you hear your name, okay? Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Carlos, here. Um, Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present. Tom. David Alonso Mejia Flores. Present. Welcome. Esau Ismael Tobar. Evelyn Janet Marroquín Ramos. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Here. Glendy Elisette Flores Ramirez. Present. Okay, welcome. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Here. Saura Evelia Vasquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Um. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Please write your full name, Luis Fernando. Marco Antonio, and turn on your camera too. Marco Antonio Quijano Aguizabal. Present. Okay, welcome. Natalie Rebecca Peña Valiente. Natalie. Present. Okay, welcome. Camera, please. Nubia Cristina Morales Benavides. Present. Write your full name, Nubia, please. Odir Omar Soriano Leiva. Here, teacher. Odir, your full name, please. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Rebeca Jonel Hernández Castellano. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Renato Salvador Ramírez González. Renato. 
sorry, uh, do you call me? Yeah, Renato Salvador. Ah, oh, no, I, my name is Lee Fernando, sorry. Okay. You're the one who's driving? Sorry, I didn't. I don't Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. sorry, I, I'm driving. Sorry. Okay. Uh, René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay. Ruth María Lozamaya Guardado. Present teacher. Your camera, please. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Welcome. Silvia Tatiana Acosta Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay, quick review. Carlos Alberto Martínez. Eh, Saúl Ismael Tobar. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Francisco, okay. Eh, Isabó Elizabeth Torres. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Renato Salvador Ramírez. Ok. Where? Well. Where what? What do you want to know? I think when you register for the session is where you need to write your full name, right? I can do it here also, but I'm not sure if that will be registering in Zoom. But I will do it anyways. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. No, we are too. Cristina Morales Benavides. Where did she go? She left? Okay. Okay, people. Let's see. And we did yesterday. Well, yesterday we were talking about the passive without by, the passive in simple present, okay? And we completed the exercise in the manual. So, uh, let's share here. Okay, now we have some questions here to practice together. You have to respond to this using the passive. Okay, passive in present. For example, where is Ecuador located? Well, how do we respond to this? This way now. Ecuador is located in South America. All right. Then yeah. you have to continue with the other, with the rest. But uh, the idea is to practice in, in pairs, okay? Asking each other this question. What languages are spoken in Singapore? Well, I have no idea. Maybe you will. You're going to need to Google it. Where is most of the world wheat produced? 
United States, maybe? Russia? I don't remember. I think that information is somewhere here or not. Uh, no, right? No. Okay, Google it. Uh, how many countries can you name where English is spoken as a second language? Can you name four countries where French is spoken? Can you name three countries that are governed by a prime minister? Okay. Let's let's work with these questions in the small group. Okay. Let me share the questions to WhatsApp so you can practice with them. And it says that if you, uh, it says that you write or add three more questions, more questions like like those. So general knowledge questions, producing the path. Okay, you have the questions there. Now let me send you to working. In groups or make trios. See. Okay. Okay, go to the breaker rooms, please, and practice with those questions. I'll give you five minutes to do it. And we'll check it later.
Wait, hi teacher. Uh, I don't know what happened. This uh, in, in my last room. You can you, you can help me, please. You return it. Oh, I I am closing this the the groups. Yeah, I'm calling you back. Please, thank you. Everyone is coming back. Okay. Welcome back. Let's see. Tell me. So where is Ecuador located? Ecuador is located in South America. What languages are spoken in Singapore? Anybody knows? English, Tamil, Malay, Mandarin. Okay. Can you give me an answer using the passive form? In Singapore, I spoke uh, language Malay, English, and Mandarin. Mm -hmm. No, that is simple past. You use past form. Passive form. Nobody? So in they say in four languages four uh, Mandarin, uh, English. Malawi and the other one I forgot. Okay, but the structure of the sentence is the problem right now. You Mandarin, have to start. Uh -huh. Mandarin, English, and I don't remember the another one. Are spoken in Singapore. Yes, that's the that's the structure. Okay, Mandarin and English are spoken in Singapore. Okay. Where is most of the world's wheat produced? China is the most the world wheat produced. Okay, but the sentence. What is the structure of that sentence? The most, you start here. You should start here. Let me. The world's, most, most. most of the world's with is produced Most of the world's wheat is produced by China. China. In China. Okay. That is the way to structure. How many countries can you name where English is spoken as a second language? Hey, mention two. English is spoken as second language in, for example, in India, England, and no second 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 language in Belize and Canada. Canada is a second language. No, in Belize. In Belize. Australia. No, 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 no. Second language. Second language. So Spanish. El Salvador. El Salvador. Germany. Poland. Yes, yes, Salvador. 
El Salvador. They speak Spanish. They speak. Maybe El Salvador, but not oh, sure. Salvador. Panama. Not sure. Panama. As a second, yeah. as a second language. Well, India Maybe. is one for sure. Germany. Germany, maybe. Finland. Poland. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, I'm not sure, but maybe. Okay, that is the idea. Okay, but the structure is this. English is spoken as a second language in... Okay. Mm. Can you name four countries where French is spoken? Canada. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Give me the sentence. Give me the structure of the sentence. French is a structure. Uh -huh. in, in Canada. There is a French Guyana, right? Yes. Yeah, there is a French. I D. I D too. Haiti? Oh. Okay. Cameroon. Cameroon. Huh? Okay. Three countries that are governed by a prime minister. Canada. Canada. Germany. Italia. Germany. Italy. Italy. Yes. Okay. Let's say Canada, Germany, and Italy. Uh huh. Finish the sentence. Our corporate are uh -huh. governed by a prime minister. By a uh -huh. prime, prime minister. minister. That is the answer for number six. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's place it. Canada, Germany, and Italy are governed by a prime minister. Okay. Um, let me ask you another que one question. Where are uh, what something is Toyota vehicles Manufacture. Where are Toyota vehicles manufactured? Can you respond to that question? Hello. Vehicles manufactured. Toyota. Um. Uh -huh. yes, Toyota vehicles are, are manufactured in China. Manufacturer in Japan. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> okay, Toyota vehicles Toyota. Are, are manufactured, manufactured in, Japan. in Japan. Okay, good. Let me think in another question. Uh, Another question, people. Let's think in another question like like that. No, <laughs> this is kind of difficult to think of. Can you name three countries where the dollar is the uh, dollar is the uh, I don't know um, dollar is the moneda? Country. Ah, how do you say moneda? Or dollar is coin. Oh, no. 
We study this here. Currency. Currency, yeah. Where the dollar is the currency. Okay. But this is not possible. Yeah, this is not possible, boys. Where dollar is, let's say, is used as current. Okay, name three countries where the dollar is used as current. That is possible. Okay, respond that. How can you respond that? No. The dollar is used. Ah, uh, the dollar is used. The dollar is used in in El Salvador. Is used, but finished. The in dollar Rio. is used. In most of the, the currency in Salvador, 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 USA, US, Panama, Canada, USA. Uh, well, let's be careful. Let's be the US dollar. Let's talk about Canada. It's a different dollar. It's Canadian dollar. Yeah, it's Canadian. There is dollar teacher. Yeah, but to be more specific, we are talking about the US dollar. Okay. And... The US dollar is used as currency in El Salvador, Panama, Belize. Uh, Belize. Is... There is another country, I don't know if it's Ecuador. I think Ecuador has a, is a dollar too. Okay, but that. Okay, very good. So we use here the passive um, in present and the passive form in. That is the idea. Okay, let me show you a video from the platform where we are going to see a little bit about questions in passive. But here, uh, set. Start here. Oh, no. No, no, no. He's not here. Okay. I was looking at another one. Situation. I need some information. That's a good line. Oh, no. That's enough. Okay. Um. Well... Let's continue here. We have an article about the seven wonders of the world. And that is a that is what.
Okay. Seven modern wonders of the world. Let me read this text for you. And later we are going to respond it. Okay. Do you recognize any of these of the sites in the picture? Panama Canal, we have here the Panama Canal. CN Tower. Yeah. Where do you find that article? It's in the manual. Have you downloaded the manual? No. 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 Okay, you have to download the manual from here. Students manual. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay. 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 And Itaipu, Itaipu Dam. I, I just recognized the Panama Canal. I was there once. The ancient Greeks spoke of the seven wonders of the world of the world. Recently, some engineers came up with this list of the seven wonders of our modern world. The Panama Canal, begun in the 1880s, wasn't finished until 1914. It joins the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Engineers describe the canal as a victory of humans over geography. Workers dug huge amounts of land and tamed rivers. For 40 years after it was completed in 1931, the Empire State Building in New York City was the tallest building in the world. Amazingly, this 102-story building was constructed in just 410 day. Wow. The Netherlands North Sea Protection Works is another victory over geography. The Netherlands, which is below sea level, was often flooded by the North Sea and by rivers. Then, between 1927 and 1932, a dam was built to shut out the sea. Twenty years later, dams and canals were built to control the rivers. The Golden Gate Bridge, completed in 1937, was also a challenge for workers. San Francisco Bay has very strong winds and rough waves. The Golden Gate is still the world's tallest bridge. It has enough steel to wrap around the world three times. At 1,815 feet, the CN Tower in Toronto, Canada, is one of the world's tallest, tallest freestanding buildings. Completed in 1976, the tower is used for TV and radio broadcasting. The Itaipu Dam, completed in 1984, goes across the Paraná River at the Brazil-Paraguay border. It is the world's largest hydroelectric plant. Completed in 1994, the Channel Tunnel joins France and England. The tunnel is a remarkable convenience. Cars, buses, and trucks are all carried through the tunnel by train. Okay, so we have the seven wonders 
uh, of the modern world or seven modern wonders of Okay, if you see here, they use the passive, the passive form. For example, wasn't finished. This is one. Uh, oh, let me the other way to highlight. Wasn't finished. Uh, another one was completed, was constructed, um, was built, were built. Okay, can you identify another passive form here? The Golden Gate Bridge paragraph? Is there a passive form in that in this paragraph, people? What's also a challenge? Mm, but remember the passive form use the verb be um, and the past like in 76 the tower is used for tv and radio broadcasting okay so in the golden gate bridge there's there's nothing okay and the the cn tower is used this is and Passive in present. And the Itapu Dam, is there any passive form? Mm. And no, and the channel tunnel. Yeah, there is one. Where is it? Channel tunnel, there is one passive form. Can you see it? Are all carried yes. through the tunnel by train? Are all carried. That's a part. Okay. Good. Now there are some questions. So... Oh, no, no questions. So you have to name the structures or the that uh, they are talking about. A structure that is the tallest of its kind. What is this? What is the structure that is the tallest of its kind? The Empire State. The Empire State? Yeah, the Empire State building in New York City was the tallest building in the world. Higher. Okay, was, but is? Was the tallest building in the world. Ah, was, not is. Well, okay. Two great victories over geography. Canal de Panama. Panama Canal. And? Our Netherlands North Sea Protection World. And Netherlands Sea Protection. Too long. 
Okay. A structure that joins two bodies of water. If they put down. Mm. Mm -hmm. The Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific. Two structures that join two separate areas of land. It put down. No. Across the Panama River and the, the Brazil and Paraguay border. But two structures that join two separate areas of land. North Atlantic. North Atlantic. What? Um, separate two areas of the land. What is? What are the two structures that join two separate areas of land? The Pacific North. The, the structure is it's not. I'm sorry, there is a noise in the background that doesn't let me hear you. There is a TV or a radio or something that. I think it's a TV. My family is making a lot of money. <laughs> so, yeah, I can I cannot hear you clearly. <laughs> I think I I don't catch the the idea about this question. But two structures that join two separate areas of the land. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll give you one: the Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge joins to. Wow, that TV is really loud. And what is the other one, people? The Golden Gate Bridge is one. It joins the. What they say here? Uh, San Francisco uh, Bay. And it's from Winds. Uh, doesn't mention where, but so it is a bridge. That El Canal de Panama. Two, no, two separate areas of land. Maybe Channel Tunnel. tunnel. Yes, yes, the Channel Tunnel joined France and. Yes. The Channel Tunnel. A structure constructed very quickly in 410 days. The Empire State Building. Yes, Empire State Building. Two structures that are in Europe. The Channel Tunnel, uh, Netherlands, Nursing Protection. Yes, and Netherlands. Netherlands, North Sea, North Seas. North Sea Protection. Protection. Okay. Good. Very interesting. Okay. With that, we finish the passing. Let's move on to the next lesson, which is it's been a long time. Let's read about these people. Ofra Winfrey. 
richest entertainer in the USA, worth almost 200 million. Uh, must be more now. Personal, born January 29, 1954, in Mississippi. Education, BA in Speech and Performing Arts from Tennessee State University. Bachelor in Art, that is the A, that was a stand. Accomplishment. At 19, was first African-American news anchor on WTBF-TV in Nashville. Began the Oprah Winfrey Show, one of the most popular talk shows in the United States. After several years, formed a company and bought her own show. William Henry Gates III, richest businessman in the world. Not anymore. Worth almost 20 billion. 20 billion? Wow. In that time. Personal, born October 28, 1955, in Seattle, Washington. Education dropped out of Harvard University after second year. Accomplishment. Wrote the first computer language for personal computer. At 19, founded Microsoft Corporation, the world's leading computer software company. At 31, became the world's youngest billionaire. Crazy. Crazy, okay. Can you name three successful people from El Salvador? Successful, not rich. <laughs> uh, because some of the rich people here in El Salvador are corrupt. Well, it's three successful people from El Salvador. You name some? No? What is this astronaut? Maybe the president. Bukele. Yeah. Okay. And then? Yeah. Jorge Michael Gonzalez. Alfredo Cristiani. Ah, no, that is yeah. correct. <laughs> Successful, but uh, well, that's my opinion. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. Ah, Mexico Gonzalez, uh, the president, right now, maybe. Uh, I would say this astronaut. Do you remember anyone yeah. remembers the name of this astronaut? Who is I'm sorry. Yeah, that is amazing what he did. He's doing yeah. actually because he's in the he's in the on, in the space now. Yeah, the president Nayib Bukele. Yeah, um, talk about that. In Facebook. Okay. 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 Well, let's take a look to this conversation. How did you get into modeling, Stacy? Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts, and I was running out of money. So what did you do? Uh, I got a job as a waitress in a city. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. One more time. Let me read it and record it. 
Conversation. How did you get into modeling, Stacy? Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts, and I was running out of money. So what did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. Okay, there you have it. Let's practice the conversation. Repeat after me, please. Let me. Okay, how did you get into modeling, Stacy? How did you get into modeling, Stacy? Well, when I graduated from drama school, well, well, I graduated from drama school. I, from drama school. I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day. I was going to every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. But I never got any parts. But I never got any parts. And I was running out of money. Money. So what did you do? So what do you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. I got a job as a waitress in a restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Why? While I, I was, was working, working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. Wow. wow. What a lucky break. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation, people? No, for me to... No? No. Okay. No. No. Okay, people. Well, it is time to... Now uh, we won't have time for it. So we'll study this. We'll study the grammar on on Monday, right? We won't have classes tomorrow. Yay! Friday. You will have Friday night off. Okay. Okay, okay. people. Stop here and we'll continue on Monday. Make sure okay. you complete all the uh, exercises on the platform, okay? That must be done for this week. They have sending you reminders constantly. Okay? Okay. Okay. okay, people, have a good night and enjoy your Bye. weekend. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.